Something real important here, and these guys know what they got to do. They're revving them up. Ben, what's going to happen? Let's see what happens. Scott Nichols' dreadful start in lane one there. Awful. And oh, look at Rick Hartson. Rick Hartson in front, but almost taking Crumpy with him. Crumpy in second place, and Nichols pushed down to third with Lee Adams at the back. I think all their game plans that they had before that start all went out the window when Tony moved them up and hooked up and went wide. But Jason's in that second position, and Scotty's desperately trying to take advantage of maybe a mistake by Crumpy. just made it. Well, Nichols has been riding brilliantly tonight. 26 years after Peter Collins won the world championship here at the Slasky Stadium. Can the Brit get through to the final? Well, he's not doing it at the moment. In fact, he's lost a bit more ground there, and he's going to be in danger of being caught by Lee Adams. Yeah, it's very difficult conditions out there, but these guys know what it's all about, and they got to twist that throttle on. As we've seen Tony lifting all around the track right now, and it's uh, really hard going out there. Let's see what these guys... Oh, there's another lift right there by Jason. Just can't give it up, though. Tony Rickardson is going to make it through to the final. It'll be his fourth consecutive appearance in an SGP final. Crumpy's going to join him, and Scott Nichols, despite a valiant effort, does not make it through, and nor does Lee Adams looking for a back-to-back -back victory. Lee Adams has failed at this final hurdle once again. He's done that several times so far this season. But Nichols can be pleased with his return to form, particularly after that broken ankle earlier this year. As the start goes up, we got Jason reaching into that first corner. On the outside, away we go. And Zagelski trying to get through the no. Look at Michael Carlson. Fantastic start from gate three. And here comes Ryan Sullivan trying to squeeze past him. Yeah, Ryan's working that inside. He knows right now second's a place to be. If uh, Michael makes a big mistake, he'll take it, but he's just got to hold on to it. Take no risk right now. It's so important for him to get into that final. Nicky Pedersen having one of his best evenings so far this year. Really good, impressive performance from him, but at the moment, third place will not be good enough. And the other one who won't make it through, Chris Zagelski, he's at the back of the field at the moment. I'm so impressed with Michael Carlson. He's just been sneaking through these Grand Prix and doing such a good job. Very consistent, but right now we got Nicky Pedersen probably desperate to get into this uh, final. He's done so well to get this far. Michael Carlson's been so consistent this year, but Ryan Sullivan chasing after him, needs to just protect that second place. And you can see Nicky Pedersen still close behind, but third is not enough for Pedersen. Sullivan's got a little bit wide there, and the gap opens up to Michael Carlson ahead. Pedersen hasn't given up, chasing over that. Oh, and Sullivan's in trouble. Sullivan getting right out wide. Oh, and he's, he's down. Oh, and Zagelski's collected him as well. Oh, that looks nasty. That's Zagelski on the floor there, but Sullivan is on the floor. There he is, over by the fence. Wow, what happened there? Looked like um, Ryan was really struggling getting some lift out of the track. Just see him right here, just getting a little bit squirrely there. The bike gets a little out of control. He tries to correct it, collects the fence. Bike goes, oh, geez, Zagelski had nowhere to go straight into him. Oh, boy, that's devastating. And Nicky Pedersen snuck in there for a second. Here's another view of it. Just look at Ryan getting out of shape there. And Sigalski has nowhere to go, Ben. That is just the worst nightmare a rider can ever have. Oh, that looks so, so painful. There is Sigalski. He is limping away. Well, it's good to see him up and about. Sullivan up, but that looks pretty painful. He's really holding his shoulder. He sure is. I don't think he's too... Michael Carlson up on the outside in yellow. Two riders that have won before, two riders that have never won an SGP round. There is Ryan Sullivan still having treatment and it still looks very painful, I have to say. But we're all set to go here, Sam. That's right, and Crumpy's now on the inside of Tony in the first corner. What's going to happen? Great start from Nicky Pedersen. Nicky Pedersen, a fantastic getaway in white there, and he moves ahead of everybody, including Jason Crump. And look at Rickardson. He's at the back. Tony Rickardson right down. I'm sorry about that, Ben, but he's stone last. It's Nicky Pedersen out front, makes it from gate three. I wonder what happened to blew all their game plans. And Jason's got to work hard now to get by Nicky. Nicky Pedersen has never won an SGP event. What could could this be his chance? The young Danish rider with a huge amount resting on his shoulders. But look at Grumpy. Grumpy's coming back at him. He hasn't given up. And Jason always seems to love racing in front of the Polish fans. 
despite the fact that they throw things at him. Look at him. He's coming back at Medicine. I'm getting into Jason's head right now. He's trying the outside. He's going to cut back. Hopefully, Nicky makes a mistake. Nicky looks over his inside, cuts back to the inside, holds it down. Grumpy's on the outside. Michael's in third place right now. Wait for these guys to make a big mistake on this track, and maybe we'll take it off. Here comes Crumpy. Good cut back, but he still can't quite make it. Looks as though he might have had the speed, and it looks like Pedersen is heading for victory. An historic victory for Nicky Pedersen, his first ever SGP win, and that is just a beautiful moment for him. Oh, celebrations. Last year in Berlin, he was leading, and he had a coming together with Tony Rickardson. Only finished third on the restart. No coming together tonight. And it's Nicky Pedersen who wins the European Grand Prix. 25 points to him. And Tony Rickardson, nine points less for finishing in fourth place in that final.